So this question is highly important asked in the year 2001 and 9 as well. If A cross B is equal to C cross D and A cross C is equal to B cross D, show A minus D that means A vector minus D vector is parallel to B vector minus C vector where A vector is not equal to D vector and B vector is not equal to C vector. Please do not get confused with the highly complicated so called wording of this question. Simply speaking, we have been given two cross products, right? And we are supposed to know what is the integrity of this question. Let's see. See, A cross B is equal to C cross D. A cross C is equal to B cross D. We have to show something regarding the parallelity. So for parallelity, definitely the cross product should be zero because the angle with sine is involved and sine zero is only zero. So I am supposed to find out A minus D cross B minus C. So let's open this up. So I'm opening in this up to A cross B minus A vector cross C vector minus D vector cross B vector minus and minus makes it plus D vector cross C vector. This is simple opening up in the order. Now A cross B is given as C cross D, C vector cross D vector minus A cross C is given to you as B cross D minus B vector cross D vector. Now this is actually the opposite order of B cross D. If I change the order, this minus becomes plus and that is a property also. So it is B cross D. Then similarly, this is the opposite order of C cross D. So if I change the sign, this becomes minus C cross D. So definitely this is one particular term with the plus sign here, suppose, or this is the other particular term. If you have to think like this or individually also, you can think they all nullify each other, giving you zero. So this thing, this cross product is giving me zero. That means the angle between them is zero. So angle between them, that means hence theta is equal to zero degree, which proves the condition of parallelity of these vectors. So wherever you have to show that these are parallel, either you can go about by doing the dot product and cause 90 is zero. So theta should become 90 degree or you can do by scalar, uh, sorry, cross product wherein I can say that theta is 0, so they are parallel.